Ah, uh, isn't that beautiful? As we all know, the outdoors is overrated. That's why people are stuck indoors and legit playing long mowing simulator instead of cutting their own fucking grass. The intensity of physical activity is obviously too much for modern humans to handle. That looks like salad. As a society, we are way too lazy to go to a local park. Plus, with the added reason of finding someone to play with, now that's just obviously too much work, understandable. So as a perfect stand-in, we can play sports games. The only problem with that is that most of them suck a lot of cat. Holy shit, is that Sally? EA. Electronic Arts is probably one of the most infamous and somewhat cliche company in this industry, practically fucking ruining it. EA Sports slogan is, It's in the game. But what's in the game, EA? Because quality surely isn't. They clearly follow the practice of quantity over quality when it comes to the game. Because even though there are hundreds of different titles in their catalog, there's really only like five different games in their catalog. That's a donkey joke. Every year, EA makes a quote unquote new game from the top sports. They're kind of seen as like the leading company in this market, but is notorious for making shithole control C control V video games. Come on. EA, can I have something new please? Now that's what I'm talking about. Madden, NHL, FIFA, just to name a few that occurs to become an absolute flop every year, ruined from its annual copy and paste, marketed as a new game to mimic the new season. I mean, it's already pretty well known how EA operates. They take a sport like hockey and make the least creative video game iteration of the sport with absolutely no thought or passion in anything, and then charge $60 for a game that's been out 20 times now with a different man in front. The overall gameplay and aesthetic hasn't changed since the game came out, and that's fine, I guess, but there's no excuse for how every year EA manages to make every character bland and gimmicky. The graphics constantly looking like shit, music being boring, overpriced in-app purchases, and just how flat out broken the game is. I mean at this point you're practically paying $60 for the different case. Goddamn this is a shit formula, that's why every single time the game comes out it's $60 but then two days later it turns into like $30. Uh EA, you gotta switch some stuff up man, no one wants to buy your shitty ass game and we want something new. Uh we can do that, uh check this out, uh rugby 08, Cricket 07, Australian Football, NASCAR 03, uh, another NASCAR game, Boxing game, uh, NASCAR game, UFC, uh, NASCAR, how's that sound? Yeah, this is also fucking shit, how about this though? Uh, Head Coach 09, huh? EA, what does that even fucking mean? I never would've thought gaming would've been this fucking trash to wear 2K22 without. This game is dog shit. NBA 2K, a game franchise not represented by EA, is pretty much represented by EA. Just because it has the same exact format and appearance, down to its quality and quantity. Come on, I mean, look at this. These are two different games, NBA Live and NBA 2K. Different companies, different developers, yet, from looking at the covers, you know that these are basically the same game. They can't brag about all games when this is the fucking products they're putting out. This game is a fucking travesty. In this game, my career is basically unfucking playable. The layoffs in this game make no fucking sense. I have never been more disappointed in my fucking life. 2K20 servers are about to go down and we're left with poop and poop. A sports game should have the ability to elevate the sport and make others see it in a new and improved way. Because otherwise, I'd rather just play it in real life. Knockout City, Head Soccer, Echo VR, Pong, Rocket League. These are all games that have innovated the sporting genre to the point where some of these games can be semi-classified as its own sport, even driving other companies to make their own clones of the product. Taking an already present concept and manifesting it into a new and improved version of the original, now that's how it's done. A game like this is kind of like real life Quidditch, you know what I'm saying? Eye-opening, exciting, innovative, and li life-changing, and feeling transformative to the sporting industry. Yeah, this shit's sick as hell. Yamoto-san, <laughs> what brings you in? I wanted to make an announcement, so I was hoping I could step in. Oh, of course. Hey guys, just wanted to say to our competitors, get the fuck out of here. First, let's take a regular bland sport. Ew, you telling me I have to go outside and play this bullshit? Okay, now let's add Mario. Take my money. Nintendo always knows how to add vibrance to anything. If Mario Badman were to release this year, it'll probably be one of the top five games of the decade. Nintendo has a very simple format. They take a popular sport and add every little slick idea that you had playing it as a kid. You want to do a triple cartwheel into a nice slice backhand? Easy. You want to hit an across the map hole in one chipping shot? Come on, I'm not even trying. You want to hit a fucking home run with your goddamn fifth? Check this shit out. 
You wanna turn Super Saiyan and bomb the entire fucking soccer stadium because your friend called you trash even though you didn't wanna fucking play this dumbass game? Oh shit! Ah! And then you go back to Madden. And... This game sucks. Nintendo's regular sports titles are also known as some of the best games in general. Wii Sports, Wii Sports Club, Wii Sports Resort, Wii Sports Switch. These are all games that have taken an activity and brought it to a new light, making it more consumable for a wider and less athletic audience. Capturing the unique movements of a sport and making that the highlight of the mini game is pretty straightforward, but effective in making a perfect game for families and speedrunners. Simplicity is key, but simplicity done right? Now that's so cool. One strange anomaly in the sports gaming industry is the sheer amount of golf-based video games there are. I mean, if you think about it, it makes sense. Golf is probably one of the least complicated games with more stationary actions compared to other sports. In every iteration, you have multiple chances to take breaks and idleness to prepare for your shot. So it is very popular with families constantly congratulating you and shoving positivity down your fucking throat. <laughs> Nice contact on that one. That was bad oh, to guy, a happy man. Is he dead? So many different ways golf has been executed, yet I never miss a shot. Holy what? Skateboarding games are probably one of the longest lasting sports that's constantly had a track record of being average. Maybe it's because there's a senile old man on the front, or maybe it's because of the accessibility of it. But actually, I think it's because of the deceptive simplicity from doing impossible tasks. Skateboarding is one of the hardest things in the world. Just doing a simple ollie in real life is very intricate and complex. There are so many steps. First, you need to jump in the air while hitting your right foot down with the finesse to pop the board up, simultaneously dragging your left foot across the board to lift the tail up, catch the board with your right foot, and finally land on the ground trying to balance on the shaky wheels. Now let me ollie in Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Now was that hard you fucking cry baby? Beat it you little nuisance! But this in turns ruins the fun and challenge of skateboarding. Now you're just left with the husk of a concept. Instead, we need more skateboarding games like this. irritating to play. Come on, man, it cannot be that bad. I mean, it made this guy feel like Jeff Bezos. So in conclusion, the sports gaming industry is the absolute worst. They are stuck making sequel after sequel, trying to retain customers and bring new customers in, but it seems impossible, just because nothing is fresh anymore. I need something new, and especially from you, EA. Nintendo, at least you're trying. 2K, go fuck yourself. Give me something different. Surprise me. Oh my god.